Hi, Genki Call here. It's time for the Tower of Doom for the week of March 21st, 2022. Uh, if you don't know about the Tower of Doom event, I did do a guide on the Tower of Doom and how best to do the rooms. And I have a link for that at the end of this video and also in the comments down below. I will pin that in the comments so that you can find it if you have any questions about the Tower of Doom event. So, first things first. Ah, uh, no. First things first, I am going to show you what you can get in the shop, the troops that are eligible for this. So, I am going to go here and I'm going to go show all. Show all base rarity. And so, everything you see here is something that you could possibly pull from the shop. And um, there are lots of mythics that use green. Anything that uses green can be used. Um, of course, your best bets are going to be Queen Beatrix, Phenoxia. You know, anything that does true damage is going to get you through this nicely. And if you don't have those legendary cards, Rowan. And I'm going to show you right here. Rowan is, she's your, your babe for this. So Rowan uh, does scatter damage boosted by her armor. With times two base ra 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 <laughs> ratio... So you need to boost her armor for the higher levels, and she can just one-shot everything. Um, Shield of Raskaya is your best bet, but of course, if you're lower level, you won't even be have access to Raskaya to get Sentinel um, and use Sentinel class. This is a class weapon for Sentinel. You have to have 250 wins to get it. So if you don't have it, you can try Golden Cog or anything else that you can find to boost armor for Rowan. Um, I have the Setite Warrior here who's also going to boost her armor. If you don't have the Setite Warrior, put in Marilith, uh, extra mana generation, uh, put a second Leprechaun, whatever you need to do to make sure that you can boost her armor and have mana for her. It's going to be fantastic. So I'm just going to take this in here. These early levels are, because of my level, are just we're just basically going to blow through these, but um, super good. And I'll explain a little better here on this next battle. Boss room unlocked. Now remember, my guild has already mapped out the first 15 floors. Uh, that's part of what we've been doing in the background here while I haven't been recording. Um, so I know that I can head straight for the doom here. So, I'm going to do that, and um, let me explain a little better here. So, I already talked about buffing Rowan's armor. Setite Warrior is going to give armor to an ally, and he's going to do some scatter damage equal to that armor. So, the more you buff up her armor, the harder the Setite Warrior is going to hit. It's just a little extra punch to them. Just, just that nice extra little punch. So, uh, 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 uh. If, well, I mean, Rowan is really probably your best bet. But I do have a team here for people that don't have legendaries that you can use. Um, assuming that you got Saga when she was in the uh, in the glory shop, uh, whenever that was. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Uh, I need to do two and three on this next one here. All right, I'm going to do one more with, actually, no, I just talked about the other team. So we're going to do this. That is the wrong team. Oh, why? <sighs> All right, this one is using Marilith. You could pop her down here and put Leprechaun here instead. Totally up to you. I'm not real sure why I put Marilith in here instead of Leprechaun, but Marilith is a very powerful mana generator. Um, I was just, I think I was thinking of people that don't have Leprechaun yet. I know um, sometimes it takes a while to get the cards, so... It's funny what can just not show up sometimes, but Sokka does damage to all enemies, and you can use this with Frost Mage, Elementalist, anything that's going to freeze the enemies is going to boost her spell, um, which will be really nice. So that's two and three. And, um... Yeah, and if you don't have Sokka, try Sil Frost Wait, this is just the basic premise that I use for my 
Delve teams is to um, you know have a couple of mana generators and a couple that do damage to all enemies nice and fast for the early levels at least later on you're going to want to get into some of these other teams uh, let's see what else I've got here those were the two that I had for no legendaries I have a lot with legendaries um, like I said Queen Beatrix is going to be your best friend but there are lots of options way more options than you actually need in the description down below <laughs> lots of options and lots of teams i didn't put in there i didn't put in a phoenicia team uh, just because the true damage teams are just really the fastest way to get through these events um and queen beatrix with um with sycorax is always nice if you have sycorax uh, let's see. Yeah, I was going to switch teams now, but I need to check. I need to do room four, two, three, four. Yes, four. That's this one. And this is just one of the teams that doesn't have true that. Why is it doing that? I hate it when it does that. I exited the program and came back in and it's still doing it. <sighs> Alright, King Avalorn does damage to all enemies with a boost from certain types of allies, and he is also a summoner. And all elf allies start with 50% mana. Using Archer, you yourself are an elf. You could use Orb Weaver or Hierophant as well, if you wish. And actually, I'm going to switch to Hierophant because it's the only one of the three that I don't have leveled yet. But, um... Archer is a really good one for this team because you can have a Leaf Storm starting out and that is really going to help when you have those explosions, when you blow off the Leprechaun, um, then you're going to get lots and lots of green coming down for your whole team. But Obregonia here is one that I just generally forget about. Does damage to all enemies and you know if they have a little extra hanging on here, they could die <laughs> from the bleed. So... That's what we've got going on with this team. And I'm forgetting something. Right, I was going to head in the shop and show you what else we've got. Ah, the shop. So, we've got the Doomed Poignard. This is the new weapon, the new Doom weapon that came in this week with the Tower of Doom. You can get this in the Soul Forge if you want to. I, I do not think that it's a good deal myself I would rather get it with gems which I'm going to do and if you don't have the gems you could do it this way but it just is kind of underwhelming for 800 diamonds uh, deal damage to the last enemy you can't even choose who it's gonna hit boosted by green gems if they have a doom deal double damage yada yada there's a 3% chance per tempering level to kill the enemy that part is kind of nice I, I do like that uh, but you can only well so you can get it up to what level 10 is it that would be a 30 percent chance but uh let's go back in here and see i'm going to buy it now and we'll look at the upgrades shop ah, yay there we go doomed poignard Whee! all right we'll look at that in a minute i will be buying all the way up to tier six to get this is a it's a great deal for forge scrolls they are so so hard to get also you want to be sure to get up to level 25 i think uh for you'll get another forge scroll for each floor that you defeat up to level 25 um i won't buy this level i mean 20 doom sigils great 25 random green troops great those could all be mythics or could include mythics but only three nature scrolls so um, for me, I will be stopping here at tier 6. I would really love to get a, a mythic out of this. <laughs> it would be great for the stream. Not that I'm streaming, but uh, it would have been nice. <laughs> it is unlikely. It is very, very unlikely to get um, a mythic out of the shop, but it can happen. So I'm on floor 3. On floor 4, I need to do room 3 right? I don't remember where I am. I am going to switch teams again, not because I have to, because I just want to showcase a few more. So you can use Gobtruffle or Beatrix or both or Vinoxio with Beatrix. 
Uh, let's use, however, a team that I got uh, from U7 for Guild Wars, actually. It is a green attack team. And I forgot. Stop doing that, you silly thing. That is not the right team. Boo. All right, I'm going to have to fix that. This is a good team. Did I copy the wrong one? Oh, no, it's the wrong team. All right, I will have to fix that in the description, and I will do that in just a moment. So the weapon is... Wait. Poignard. Let's get this taken care of before I forget it again. Attack, attack, armor, attack, magic, gain to attack. <gasps> I can't upgrade it all the way. Of course I can't. Doom scrolls. Uh, poison the first enemy. Deal five damage to the last enemy. Create a leaf storm. That's very nice. And drain two mana from green enemies. So it's kind of meant to be used in the Tower of Doom or for green Guild Wars Day, basically speaking. So, the, no, I'm not going to be upgrading that. Kitty Cat needs to go. Goodbye, sweetie. All right, so it is the Javelin of Suncrest. Um, it's not one of my favorite types of um, weapons. However, it does get an extra turn when you cast. So that is why this particular one was uh, being used here. So it was the Javelin of Suncrest. I'm so sorry for the delay. Then we've got Yao Guai. Yao, Guai, and Child of Summer, and Queen Beatrix. Now, of course, you can change the weapon. This is just, uh, this was for Green Guild Wars Day. That's why it needed to have a green weapon. Um, of course, this banner is totally wrong. We are going to do, I think, the Labyrinth banner here because it's perfect. And sh 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 sh, let's see, Elf, Demon, Fae, Wild Folk, Mystic. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. A class that does um, the Leaf Storm would be ideal. So I'm gonna use this here and put this into the description. There we go. Oops. Um, Hold on, I made a mistake. I made a mistake! Okay, there we go. Um, so this is the team that he gave us. You can totally switch out this weapon to something else, something that will create mana. So maybe you want to throw in something that explodes. Uh, like, well, I mean, of course, you could use the Mountain Crusher, but uh, I wouldn't. Could use the Eye of Odin. Anything you want, just... Play with it and see what you think. Uh, I think I'm going to actually throw the face stick in here because it's fun. It has splash damage and explodes things, so we've got explosions there and quick mana here, quick mana here. Queen Beatrix will feed into the face stick, so that's what I'm going to use. But I'm going to change the class because um, all of my classes that have a leaf storm are maxed out except for Barbarian, so hold on class barbarian make sure that the leaf storm okay nature's aura is there all right perfect so delay over with now let's head in here see how this works it works for guild wars so this is brown to red here i have no alignment unfortunately we'll do that and we've got queen beatrix ready to go already and pretty much just decimate the team Brown to red. I'm gonna no, nope, that's splash damage. Unfortunately, that won't work out. But I am gonna cast with it now. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's do it again. I like the face stick. I think it's fun. Alright, what floor am I on? I am on floor four. And floor four, I needed to do room three. That's this one. Um, I started to say, it's in the description below, but I started to say that the mapping for my Tower of Doom is going to be different than yours. Unless you're in my guild, don't follow my mapping because it will be different for you. Every guild has a different, um, different rooms 
So this is brown to red. Look at that alignment. Oh, oh and this is perfect. So we've got red, uh, purple to red here. So we'll just do this and we'll loop and we'll take them out just like that. Oh, so efficient. I love that. All right, let me see if I can show you a couple more teams here and leave you all to your devices. Uh, let's see, what shall we use next? Ah, wait, how about my favorite? So one of my, f well, no, it is my favorite. Um, my favorite Arachnian Weaver team that I use in Delves. I use it for everything. That is not it. That is it. Life and Death, Queen Beatrix, Arachnian Weaver, and Leprechaun. I use this all the way up through floor 25 of the last Tower of Doom, and I had no problems. You can see I'm using Warden here because that was the class I was leveling with Leafstorm at the time. So I'm going to switch it to Barbarian. Warden is also very good. I love, I love Archer because it's got that percentage chance to insta-kill when you use Skulls. Um, so I would recommend Archer if you don't have it fully leveled yet, or, you know, if you just like that talent. So, let's see. We just blow this off. We get mana for Queen Beatrix. Now, something to keep in mind um, with the Tower of Doom is that this guy is invulnerable. Dooms are immune to all status effects. You can't curse them. You can't stun them. You can do absolutely nothing to them, including insta-kill. So if you were to use something in here that insta-kills, such, such as um, such as Zulgoth or uh, Ubistet or anything that does an insta-kill like Scorpius, you can't do it. You can't devour them. Nothing. You are going to have to kill these straight up um, like this can't web them but I can kill them <laughs> anyway I do love this team it is fantastic now I have another team that I will show you here uh, let's see we can use a wild queen team down below there's there are teams with Sycorax and uh, Suna whom I don't own and just all kinds of different teams down there that are going to be useful. Uh, floor five, let me show you one more team here and I will let you guys go and play. Uh, right, this is a great team that I have seen multiple times. Um, and one of my teammates is using it right now. So I'm on floor five, I need to do room two, three, four. Room four, boop, Bacha! edit. Manage. Paste. This should... Oh, that's actually it. <laughs> that's actually it. And again, ignore me changing the class. Uh, but we've got the Arboreal Crystal, two Queen Bees, and Sycorax. If you don't have Queen Beatrix, you could use two Gob Truffles. The nice thing about Gob Truffle is that he is an elemental, and that means when you use that Arboreal Crystal, um, you're going to be giving him... Um, a random status effect, which is always a nice. Sycorax is, you know, Loop City. Of course, Queen Beatrix also Loop City. So um, I'll show you this and finish this floor up, and then I will bring this video to an end so that I can do my Soul Forge video. So right off the bat, we're just going to actually, I'm not even going to bother using the Arboreal Crystal because, you know, Queen Beatrix is ready to go and Queen Beatrix rocks. Queen Beatrix for the win. Wah, ha, ha. Ah. One last thing I want to say is, um, now I did mention this before, I will put in a link at the end of the video. Um, when you are going to use these scrolls, uh, they're the, um, yes, the heroism scroll. If you're going to use a heroism scroll to instantly defeat the doom, don't unlock it first. Don't do anything on the floor. If all there is on the floor is an unlock, don't use it. Just go straight to the room and use your heroism scroll. Um, that's the gist of it. Because you don't have to unlock it first. And also you're going to want to do that on the highest level possible. You're, you're not going to get many of these. They're very, very rare. But um, 
we'll do this one more time one more time and see if i can remember to put my links in if i forget remind me please because i'm you know kind of a space cadet sometimes <laughs> yeah i know I have my moments. Okay, Sycorax. So, Sycorax, the trick with Sycorax, I'm glad this came up. Always cast on green, blue, or brown so that you can loop. And, I mean, you could... Blue is the entire team, including your hero, but you're going to get a buff off of that. And so I'm going to do green because we have the most green on the board, so we'll do this. Get tons of mana, and I could repeat that a few times if I wanted to keep buffing the health, but there's real, really no reason to at this level. Later on, though, it would be very helpful. Anyway, that is what I've got for you for now. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you folks soon. Bye-bye!